Okay, viewers, you're welcome to Cockit Tech. Today we'll be talking about how to use a custom lower toad for your OBS using a easy washing. You know, sometimes we'll be finding it difficult to use a lower toad on a um, easy OBS. So I'll be showing you how to use that. Your custom designed uh, lower toad on a OBS. So first of all, you have OBS installed on your laptop. I will share the link to download OBS in the descriptions below. So you have uh, OBS installed. OBS will look like this. You can decide to use the studio mode or the normal mode. Then you have your excuse me. You have your Easy Worship installed. For me, I use Easy, Easy Worship Seven. Like I will show you the link also to download the Easy Worship. Then, for your custom design, you can use um, Photoshop to design the lower third you want. So, <clears throat> before we continue, I will urge you to subscribe to the channel, like, and click the notification bell. So this is the Easy Worship interface. Easy Worship interface. Now, for the purpose of this, also you will have the ND5 software, ND5 software installed. I will post the link for the ND software for OBS interface. Now, before we continue, let's open the Photoshop so that we design a custom software, a custom lower code that we want to use for this exercise. So it's easy as therefore, so I wouldn't waste that much time in uh, Photoshop. So I'm just going to uh, design a, just a, okay, new document, then use the default size. So I'll just design just a random design, mm -hmm. not to make it to be similar. So for this, I can choose um, the rectangle tool or the triangle or any any one of the choice. So I'm using the rectangle tool. So this is the rectangle tool. You can decide the size you want your rectangle to be or the size you want it to be. So as you, this is my rectangle tool. So I can choose any color, the color I want it to be, maybe I want blue, yellow or whatever. It depends on the color of your choice. Okay, let me say yellow. Okay, now for my own custom designs, I like putting my church logo because most times I use this for our church videos on YouTube. So I like putting the church logo and the names down here. So you can get the logo if you have it from your pictures. So to me, this is the logo. So I can add it to the display. It's quite straightforward. So I'm trying to make it uh, easy. So something like this. Then I can add the name as I add it. Okay, so you can adjust the size to suit the way you want, depends on what you want. Let's just say it's um, something like this, then I can get my line tool and yes, just for me, how I want it to look like. 
So having this now, having this, what you do is you delete the background. Remove, remember to delete your background. Delete the layer, the background layer. So you have only this left. So I'm just using a random design. So I'm not trying to make it beautiful. Just using this for an, as an example to show you what you need to do. So the next thing you're going to do is you export this using PNG. You export it, quick export as PNG. So you can choose any name. For me, desktop, I can put uh, right lower third, lower third, my desktop and save. So once this is done, you can minimize this, then go to your easy worship. This is easy worship. Go to your media. Go to your media images. You can add it your images this is it click and add as an image now that you've added it in image then right click on it copy it into scripture theme then copy it into song theme so you go to your team you go to your team remember you copy it both scripture and and uh, so look for the file to slower to this is it. If I click on it, then I click on edit something. Look at it, just double click. Sorry. Click on this. Click on this, then shrink this text to match the size of the box match the size of the box so that each text you're posting will be inside here so this way for the song i will click ok then you go for this to the scripture then look for that thing again no at all this is it so you right click again with this scripture thing so for this also, you, double, you just click once, and then, you click, then you shrink this, click it to enter the box where you want it to be showing. Put it inside the box. Okay. This is it for the test and uh, yeah we are done with this now we are going to integrate this we are going to integrate this to, to OBS we are going to integrate this to OBS now you can right click on this and make this set as what default scripture team then go to the song right click on this set as default song team then the next thing you're going to do is click on your edit select your options remember you've installed the nd5 you've installed your nd5 so when you select the options just wait a bit for you to open so here your output monitor will be your nd string nd string then you select the output format output format for me i use one two eight zero by seven two eight and uh, click OK. Now you open your OBS. Now we want to add that OBS. Okay, let me do it this way so you can see the control. Okay. This is the OBS. So what you do is here, which here you see the sources. Where you see the source. Sorry, let me remove this. Where you see the source, just click on this select you see md5 source you can name it anything you can say you can name it easy worship since you're using easy worship 
Then, the end this source name. From the drop down menu, click the Easy Worship. Then click on OK. So, drag this, make it to be the size of the screen. So, if I come to Easy Worship and post post any scripture it's gonna show here on this is my OBS so any scripture I push now shows here on the lower third so you have this I want if you change you come there also the same way with your songs also for the songs any song at all you push it comes so now you're using the lower third here now if you can add a video to add video to this is quite simple it depends on your video source so from here if you're using a display capture now if you're using a camera if you're using a camera you can add your video using your camera for instance, I have uh, my camera here. Let me just uh, your video capture device here. Click on your video capture device. Okay, you can name it. Maybe you call this your camera. So the video is coming from your camera. Then select the camera. You can decide to use the integrated camera of the laptop, or if you have a camera, like I have a camera. You can use the camera okay so now you have the camera this camera playing <laughs> this is the camera and you have your video source from the camera then this is the scripture maybe the preacher calls the scripture you can pause the scripture the scripture will show with the video there without any interference now, because the camera is on top, you will not see your insulation. So your camera is supposed to be below. Right into the below. You understand? It's supposed to be below the insulation. So you can always see, see it. So you change the scripture. The scripture changes your video is still So this is how you use your easy worship with your audience. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Remember to like, subscribe, and on the notification bell. Also, comment so that the YouTube algorithm will get the videos for other people to see. Thank you and God bless you.